Right, the first G thread of 2023. Let's do it. Let's go. This video is brought to you by Bruffy.com. This is my website where you can find all the info you need about me and my content from a fully documented catalog of my videos with chronological playlists to live streaming plans and much, much more. Go straight there with a link in the description and pinned comment. Where we go. Oh, oh, are we? That was, oh, do you know what? This has, this has been all right. This hasn't been as bad as it could have been in terms of cleanliness in those cars. The GHK Flash GT. Rip Ken Block. We will do a random, uh, a random drift cars race, I think. We did one of those as the very early random races. But we'll do another one because there's been a lot of cars added since then. Um,. But yeah, first G-Fred of 2023. Um, the traffic is GTA... Why is it... Why, why would you do that? Thank you, Doctor, for the five gift subs. <laughs> I'll read those after the, after the race. Uh, the traffic is GTA London, 1969 and 61 theme. So Din might has said. So we'll see. But yeah, the Ferocious 312 is in traffic. That is a car that was in uh, either 69 or 61, one of the two. I feel like it was 61, right? That had the open wheeler. So there's an open wheeler in uh, in traffic here, but we'll have to see what else there is. I imagine a JB700 is going to be available. Got a pretty decent start here, actually. Not a bad way to start 2023. Since we're talking about old GTA games, when will you play GTA 3? I don't know. It's going to happen sometime in the near future. I've obviously done the 2D GTA games. Up, and I'm, I want to play through all the GTA games. And they're going to go up on the second channel. Obviously, the 2D versions already have. It was fun to explore those games. Um, GTA 3 is my first entry to the series. When I was like, I want to say 13 years old, I was playing GTA 3. So I'm looking forward to doing that one, and I have played all the well, most of the GTA games since then. But I am gonna go through them again on stream and do a proper playthrough, and then that'll get uploaded to the second channel. But it won't be too long that we get started on GTA 3, I think. Um, Dad joke. Here's one. What did the calculator say to the student? You can count on me. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you know what I like it? I'm all right with it. All right, I'm going right. I'm going this way. I'm going this new line. Someone's following me. This has gotten me away from the rabble. There's only, what, like two or three of us gone this direction? What are you? Mild it was. Oh, what was it? Oh, the R70K, wasn't it? Oh, well, do you know what? This is a car. I'll take a car over not nothing at all. But... Damn, that's a nice find from the start. At least I've got something. Oh, there's a lot of those. Go, um, 711 it is, not the R70. Really? Really? I had had a good start to 2023 G-Friends. It didn't take long for reality to set in, did it? <laughs> so I've got the Dominator Classic. Serena rallies are around. Regular Serena, Locust. Oh, that 711 is so much faster, though. Oh, you kind of need one. No! Oh my god, I don't believe it. Oh, 
God, is this even worth it? <laughs> well, he has dis he's decided to not continue the pursuit, so I've gotten it to myself. We'll see if it's worth it by the end, I guess. I'm quite far back from people now. Almost done a bloody death G line into the quarry. At least we've got a great sound on the engine for this G Fred. They had some really fun cars in GTA London 69 and 61. The, the FAB was my favourite. That Thunderbirds reference. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Alright. So I'm pretty I'm pretty far down the order. Oops. After chasing this down, but don't don't trust the the position counter in the bottom right. That's that's not it's not accurate. But I am going 146 miles an hour. So I feel like the only people who I'm not going to be catching up are people who are also in 711s. Oh my god, the speed difference is insane. Can I break 150? There it is. <laughs> Might be one of the quickest speeds we've ever gone in a, a G Fred down the highway. Gotta be careful with the traffic. It was asked in the chat just there, why is the Locust in 60s traffic? I think it's any car that's got like the same sort of name. Like there is a Locust in the London, one of the London games. So Din might's probably put that in because it shares the same name. I think it was the same with the, uh, when he did the GTA 1 traffic. We had Itali GTOs because there's an Itali GTO in GT1, even though it's not the same model car really. But the name is the same. Did we get to 180 miles an hour there? <laughs> wow. Oh, it was really affected by the bush. I'm not going to make it. No. The bloody bush. Well, I could have exploded, I suppose, so... It was going so well on the comeback. Yeah, I knew I was going to land on that. <laughs> Damn, it made it over the other side with that tiny run up. It is quick, this. Ooh, it's going to be tricky up Chiliad, though, I bet. Big power, not that grippy, really. Someone's in the air. <laughs> the traffic's friggin' deadly, man. That Rhapsody came to a, new, a dead stop. Seventy. I have no idea what position I'm in, where I'm going to finish on this. It's all just going so fast. It, it's an absolute blur, this race. I would be surprised if whoever wins this race 
wasn't one of the people who got this car early on. Some people are going the OG route. I'm going to try the, the middle route. Because there's a few options there if you can't get up, like, the more difficult bit. But Chiliad's going to change things up a little bit, I think. There's not many people not in a 711 at this point. <laughs> it is the car to have in this g -thread. No ferocious is spawning. Some people are braving the hot lap route. That is bold. It might work for them. Either. Normally cars with good power, they can sort of get out of a lot of uh, trouble when it comes to the hot lap route. It is almost like a spec car G Fred, but some people got an inherent advantage based on finding it first. <laughs> great, uh, great showcase of how good the 711 is, though. I'm sure there's already a video on the channel, just a regular racing video of this car when it was first released. Although, again, I might be thinking of the. R70 K, I'm not sure, but it is a great car. Do you know what? I think this would have been fine on the hot lap route. I think people who've chosen the hot lap route have made a good decision. Why is it? Why? Why would you do that? Dog day again. Thank you. Gotta be careful of these bushes though, this car does not seem to like the bushes. It's just got it's just got so much power, even though it's lacking a little bit on the traction, the power can make up for it. See how that bush just completely dragged me wide. And that one. Oh, that's not gone well. Yeah, you would have been fine on the hot lap route. Oh my god, look at how did how it did that. Scumbag! And that bush dragged me off. <laughs> oh, man, they stop you dead, these bushes. Yeah, there was a few people who took the hot lap route who've just not had a problem, I think. And, the, yeah, for everything that I've just experienced, there's no reason to think you would have a problem. Yeah, I'm not too far away from Mild, who got the 711 just in front of me on the highway. Considering I missed the jump, if I hadn't missed the... Well, the bush made me miss the jump. I would have been pretty close, if not ahead. I don't know where the leaders are. Though. Oh, what a scumbag. oh my god. I'm stuck on the bushes with the front left, so it just, as I put the power down, it just drags me in. Tell you what, we've kicked off 2023 G Freds at some serious high speed with this car on that highway. And I can't. Alright, gotta be careful down Chile, yeah. Let's not let's not mess this up now. It's been a decent little recovery drive so far, given the issues. keep that up yeah I could aim for a bush and I would just stop dead before the train tracks that would have been a good idea a wall will also do the job
it. Really? Oh, come on. He's gonna revert. God damn it. I even specifically waited. Because <laughs> he got to the, the um, bridge first. I have done that before though in the past. Hit that little side thing. Yeah, someone someone had fallen in the river. I don't know I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh that was close. I'm calling it time on the boat. Oh Benny, is that were you actually in a boat? <laughs> Gone fishing. I feel like I think there's some people who've had some issues during this one. I think I'm on the... Oh, I should have... Damn, I wasn't thinking. I was on autopilot. When I'm on autopilot, this is the route I do. Because... This is what I've done most. I should have done the little jump over the top. I think I might be chasing down a top five. Top five's always possible. We always say it. Nobody behind me. I've left people behind. I avoided the bushes, but didn't avoid the animal. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for it. There it is. Oh dear. <laughs> We gotta do the hot lap, the um, Hail Mary. Because of course we do. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this. To, this is a bit much. Stop. Oh my god, it stopped dead. I think I hit like the tiniest little bush or something. <laughs> Bloody hell, this car is one of the fastest cars we've ever used in a G-Fred, I think. It genuinely. One person's gone the original hot uh, parachute line. Master's taken the win. We're going to get some distance on this uh, Hail Mary if we execute it properly. Damn, I've got so much more height than a hack below. I wonder if I could steal that position. I've got so much height. I might be able to like do the old style that you do with the uh, OG parachute line and get some speed. I'll try it when I get a bit closer. All right, let's do a swoop. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think I got it. I got it. Third. No way. No way. <laughs> wow. A podium. Damn. Thanks for the GG. Holy moly.
stole the podium right at the end. That was what a hell of a Hail Mary as well with the uh, the speed. And I wanted to leave it a little bit later, so I kind of got the speed further in. Damn. That's, uh, that's not a bad result. Considering I didn't get the 7-1-1 anywhere close to straight away. And I was so far down the order when I got the 7-1-1. And then messed up the airport jump and had to redo that from the airport to the end that was pretty good really i'll absolutely take a third holy moly good start to 2023 g friends i suppose it was fun driving that car though as well in this g fred that was a very fun car for a g fred so fast nice Top five is always possible. 